سعيدا كن فريدا عش بفخر في الحياة لا تبالي فالمعالي بالتحدي لا سوى كن سعيدا كن فريدا عش بفخر في الحياة لا تبالي فالمعالي بالتحدي لا سوى بالتحدي لا سوى حرر النفس ولا تحيا هباء Day two with this whole vlogging thing. I'm getting used to it. I'm getting better at it. The only problem is I'm trying to upload on time because I have technical difficulties and I'm still trying to find, you know, ways to not have those technical difficulties. But I hope you guys stay tuned and, you know, be patient, bear with me, and I'll get better at this because I'm actually getting better at holding it. I'm getting better at actually getting comfortable and vlogging it in front of people. It's just getting, it's actually getting better and it feels more, you know, normal. I'm getting comfortable with this. So that's a, that's a plus, but... Day twos consist of a lot of things. I'll just tell you guys step by step as the day goes because I don't know if things will change. But first, I'm going to head to the mosque and go pray. I cannot pray Friday prayer because I'm a traveler. So in Islam, those who travel outside, like, those who travel, like, away from their home, they can put duhr and asr together. So I'm going to put duhr and asr together, praying two rahas for each, and then I'll pray it at the salat in a mosque. So that's one of my goals, and I'm going to go do that. And then after that, I'm going to head over Back to Hollywood. Yeah, I'm gonna catch my Uber and then head to the mosque. And the second thing I've learned about Los Angeles is like, time is everything. Cause people have places to be, things to do. And people are not just gonna be, you know, right there when you want it. You cannot be late. Cause Uber's out here, they're only gonna wait two minutes. So yesterday I rushed out to catch my Uber. Today I'm actually waiting for my Uber. Cause I started to realize that time is everything. So. I'm just out here just waiting for my Uber, so hopefully this whole tour thing goes successful and I can actually show you guys around LA, but uh, I thought I was gonna, I was not gonna do touristy things when I came to LA, but I actually wanna go and check out these things and I actually wanna bring you guys along, so let's go do it. Let's see how far my Uber is out. Four minutes away. I'll catch you guys in the next clip when I get to the mosque and show you around the mosque. Yes, stay tuned for these awesome vlogs. لا تبالي فالمعالي بالتحدي لا سوى كن سعيدا كن فريدا عش بفخر في الحياة لا تبالي فالمعالي بالتحدي لا سوى بالتحدي لا سوى حرر النفس ولا تحيا هباء. I have made it to the mosque. So beautiful, ما شاء الله تبارك الله. أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر أشهد أن لا Just got done praying. Man, I missed, like, I wish I could have showed you guys, like, the rush of a lot of people when it was the time for pr Friday prayer. I wish I could have showed you guys, you know, all these people that were coming to pray together, all the Muslims coming together and praying together as one. That would have been beautiful, but unfortunately, unfortunately, I did not catch that. I came towards the end when people were actually leaving. So, I just came here, prayed, um, read a little Quran, read Surah al -Ghaf, and now, after more adventurous stuff. Right now, I'm going to catch an Uber out to Hollywood, and then I'll see you guys in the next clip. See you guys. Well, I'm about to go on this tour. I low-key thought I was going to have, like, a problem or some type of altercation with the boss, because yesterday when I came here, he said no refunds, but when they were promoting it to me, you're like, you know, I was gonna either I was gonna end up either ways paying that twenty five dollars just to go on this tour, even though later on in the day I saw better tours, but I was still gonna be you know I was being generous, so I was like cool, let me just pay this up. 
But I went up to the boss and then he said, oh, the 7.30 tour is not being, you know, given today due to the fact that I was the only person who signed up. So I was like, all right, cool. Can I get my refund? The dude, he didn't even tell me before. Okay, it's my fault because I didn't read the receipt before he gave it to me. But the dude did not tell me that, you know, it was no refunds. It's like an open ticket. So I got a chance to go on the tour, actually. But what ha what ended up happening is I came back today so I can go on this stupid tour. It's not stupid. Hopefully it's going to turn out cool because I'm going to take you guys with me. But I ended up going on this tour. And then the boss still has the audacity to be rude about me asking, hey, what time is the tour? The dude just, like, swerved on me. The only reason why I'm literally, like, not even a... Literally, the, the only reason why I'm actually going to go on this tour is because, his, like, his employees, they're pretty chill, they're pretty cool. They felt bad that, you know, I didn't end up going on the tour. And, like, the whole refund situation got me upset. Like, they were cool. They were, you know, they were showing... Is it empathy or sympathy? What, whichever one. They were showing, you know... They're putting... They're putting... They're foot in my shoes, you know, so that was cool about it, but I guess you got to be an ass when it comes to being a boss because then you got to do the hard work, but like the hard job, but honestly, you don't have to be rude about it, you know, like you don't got to be rude about it. You don't got to change your character to be a boss. You still can get the job done, but just don't be rude about it. Like, come on, bro. Like, I'm giving you, I'm giving you my money and damn, Ellie's like crazy and just too much, but I'm like giving you my money, but she won't end up being rude about it. Like, or keep the $25 if it's really a life living for you, you know? I understand you make money off this, but you ain't gotta, like, freaking scam me. I respect the hustle, but I don't respect the scam, you know? Like, that's rude as, that's just rude, and I don't, I really don't do well with disrespect. I'm, like, 100% gonna swear while you, like, ignore you. I don't care what type, in general, my friends, family, anybody, like, I just don't do well with disrespect. That's just plain on rude, and I, I will, it's either I'm gonna, talk to you up front just be straight up rude with you too and just you know still be even lower than your level or just walk away so I choose to just you know ignore that dude and just kind of kept it going I talked to the employee and he kind of hooked me up and you know he was cool about it so I'll see you guys in the next clip when I actually go on this tour and let's see how this tour actually turns out to be hopefully it was worth my money but we'll see <laughs> We all have you have to thank for that one. If you look out on the far right, you'll see the Griffith Observatory, the white building with the oval-shaped roof. That's a cool place to check out. They have a free science museum inside. And when it's clear skies at night, they bring out their huge telescopes and you can do some stargazing. The chance we're going to uh, sneak our way into the lookout point. Don't mind if we get beat that. Okay, so uh, I'm going to double park and I'll let you out in just a moment. I'm a little key scared that something's just going to pop out of here. The hill. I'm more scared of an animal. Look at LA. Almaani, bi tahdi la siwa. Kun saeedan, kun faridan, ish bi fakhirin fi alhaya. La tubali, falmaani, bi tahdi la siwa, bi tahdi la siwa. Harri nafsa wa la tahya haba. يا ربيعا أنت والعطر الرداء حرر النفس ولا تحيا هباء يا ربيعا أنت والعطر الرداء خذ قرارا وانطلق لا Once we come around this curve you're going to see this house uh, coming up on the left hand side it has an American flag on top uh, this belongs to actor Chris Evans. He plays Captain America in all the Marvel films. Chris Evans' house up top there. Actually, it's a very partial view because he hasn't trimmed his trees in a while. It's blocking our view nowadays. Uh, he shares his house with his wife, Jessica Beale. You can see a little bit over the gate. Uh, he paid $8 million for this property. He bought it from an actress named Helen Hunt. Justin! <laughs> and uh, he's got plenty of security out here. That's a guardhouse out front. And if you look up top on the right-hand side, it kind of looks like we're at an army base with all the surveillance oh. cameras. And if you look back out on the left, Jeez. if anybody wants to go through Justin Timberlake's trash, now's your chance. <laughs> That's a lot of trash for one guy, huh? Yeah. Dang. Oh my god. Well, they did have a baby, so it might be a lot of dirty diapers, right? Damn, they got security on deck. 
Uh, the city of Beverly Hills, they gave the key to the city to a certain celebrity. If you guys had to guess who got the key, who do you think might have got it? Excuse me? No. Uh, that was no. I, thought, I thought Rob Dude got it. No. That's no. Any, any other? Anybody else? You guys want to throw another one out there? Who do you guys think got it? Key to the city of Beverly Hills. No guessers? We don't waterboard you if you get it wrong, guys. <laughs> uh, they actually gave it to the Kardashians, believe it or not. What? Out of all people, right? Exactly. That's why I was waiting for you guys to say some uh, guesses like, you know, Leonardo DiCaprio or you Hefner, Michael Jackson. But no, the Kardashians. They don't even live out here. They live out in Calabasas, which is about 35 miles out from here. So you guys ever seen the movie Pretty Woman before? Well, there's a scene shot in that uh, store across the street on the right. Uh, that's where she got uh, kicked out of the store and she came back with all her shopping bags. She was like, big mistake. Huge mistake. And she walked out. It's for lease now, so I guess it really was a big mistake. Also got uh, Al Pacino's house coming up on the left-hand side. Uh, it's actually a humble property. It's not this large Scarface looking one on the left-hand side. It's right next door with the bushes out front. Uh, we actually seen Al Pacino getting into Blue Jaguar a few weeks ago with his driver. Try to get his attention, tell him, say hello to all my little tourist friends. But uh, he wasn't having it. He just got in the car and left. He was a little cranky. He's getting up there in age. Uh, Al Pacino is about 70 nowadays. And he's lived here for over 20 years. I made it to the Grove. This is actually a beautiful, dope place. I freaking love it. But the tour was okay. The tour was definitely worth being 25, but... I just didn't like the boss's attitude, the way he came about things. I just don't like, I don't know, I just didn't like the boss, but it was actually beautiful. I actually liked the tour. It was pretty dope. But let's check out the Grove now. Shopping for glasses is the hardest because I'm so picky. Like, it has to be dark shades, like you can't see my eyes type of shades, you know? But it's cool, I keep looking. Hopefully I find some because I'm really loving these glasses over here. I'm for sure going to end up buying these ones, hopefully. Isn't that a bit? Like you? Huh? Looking at these shoes and these prices, and the fact that I'm a sneakerhead, I will for sure buy something before I walk out of here, hopefully. <laughs> I'm getting hungry. I'm gonna grab something to eat. I'm gonna probably head out so I can go grocery shopping and then head home. So if I do not, because I have two minutes left, if I do not end up ending this vlog at the house, you guys, at the end of the day, keep those good vibes, stay positive, spread up. I love y'all. لا تبالي فالمعالي بالتحدي لا سواه بالتحدي